Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and this is part 4 of Hero Brine's Return, so let's do this then. So in the last part, we defeated another uh, boss, which was Dinabone. Well, not really defeated, but defeated for now anyway. But uh, unfortunately, because of uh, so much lag occurring while I was trying to do quest number 7, I actually had to uh, omit most of quest number 7 in uh, part 3. So yeah, I basically had to remove my playthrough of quest number 7 here because it was lagging so much. But yeah, but basically what Quest 7 was, was that I had to load up four cannons with gunpowder and take the uh, enemy airship uh, down, so, which I did successfully, so. But it was lagging so much and it went so terribly off sync that I had to basically remove that part from the video. Now I am actually trying something out, trying something out here to possibly reduce the lag in the game. I've changed the render distance, as you can see. I have it set to short now. I don't know if that'll really do anything, but hopefully hopefully it will reduce some of the lag anyway. It's not really lagging right now, but it probably will in just maybe a few minutes, but yeah. So, I'm still going to try to complete this, map, this uh, custom map anyway. Anyway, quest number 8. Warlock ta Tarev, or Tarev, resides in his tower, overlooking the land and destroying all who question his power. With the aid of Thanos, defeat the Warlock. Enter the tower and defeat the Warlock. So let's find the tower then. Alright, and uh, by the way, I went to the Heaven Shop, and I actually, uh, using my gold nuggets, I got the uh, Oblivion Sword here, as you can see. So much stronger. Sharpness 9, Bane of Arthropods 2, Smite 2, Unbreaking 10, 16 to 34 damage. That's pretty good. I also got uh, some armor here. Hinders Visage. Protection 2, Projectile Protection 2, Thorns 2, and Unbreaking X. So, yeah. So, got some stuff uh, from the Heaven Shop. But, yeah, let's try to go and find this tower then. Here's to be something down here, so let's go and investigate. So, yeah, I have the render distance set to a uh, much smaller setting, so hopefully it should reduce some of the lag. Maybe not all of it, but hopefully most of it. Oh, what? So, you think you can enter my domain just like that? Okay, well, oh, what? How does it feel to be trapped and powerless? The heck? Hello there? Let me out and show me what you are made of. Actually, can I even hit him from here? We got plenty of time for fighting, but for now, he teleported. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, hello. Leave the humans alone, warlock. An archangel here? Haha. -ha. Take that! Oh my. Okay, this is interesting. See, here you are powerless and also vulnerable. No, ah, sorry friends, I have failed. Just made him explode for goodness sakes. What the heck was that all about? Let me out, stupid warlock. Uh oh. Oh well. Okay, we're out now. How you doing? Alright, time to just spam the buttons yet again. Just spamming the buttons. Actually, do I have... What's going on with my health bar? Yeah, but I got the Oblivion Sword now, so... Yeah, we're just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Enough, I will show you my true powers. Oh, boy. What? You're kidding me. A Wither? Okay, well, apparently we're fighting a Wither now. That's just perfect. Yeah, I got the raven's wing here. Of course. Of course. At least I have infinite lives. I still have quite a bit of souls, though. I can't hit him from up there, though. He's flying, and this is actually a bit too loud. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna lower the volume here a bit. Why is it that every game I play nowadays, the audio is so loud? Goodness gracious. Yeah, well. There we go. I'm back. Actually, where did he go? Oh, hello. Yeah, so, okay. Just get him with the bow right now. I know that the Wither uses, uh, basically activates a shield. Yeah. That's his, that's his shield. Oh, he's coming down to the ground, and I can barely even see what I'm doing right here. Oh, hold on. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. I have gotten him. Pro. Alright, 
Alright, what is this now? Um, forget you, Deathwind. I don't need you. Nether Star. Alright. That was pretty good. That was much easier than I thought. Okay, well. Insert the Nether Star. Quest A completed. You received 100 souls. Give me some arrows. Some fireworks. Alright. I don't need another death one. Fallen Defender. Okay. Just, I'll just take that. Nicholas Anglers. Yeah, I could repair them. There we go. Yeah, that was much easier than I thought it would be. Alright. Thanks, Oblivion. Alright. Uh, that was pretty good. Give me those gold nuggets. Um, oh, we got the Soul Breaker now. That's, that's better. Berserking Potion. Yeah. Okay. Only died once. Alright, that was much easier than I thought it would be. What is this now? Okay. Let's see Quest 9, then. What is Quest 9? Herobrine is protected better than expected. A giant inhabits the fiery lavas of Herobrine's realm and does not welcome any. Find and defeat Korrigor, the Lair Keeper. Okay, then. Much easier than I thought it would be. Alright. That was, that was pretty good. Oh, there doesn't seem to be anything down here. Gotta be careful. Looks like I could fall. Careful for the lava. Oh, okay. Alright. Wait a second, did I reach a dead end? Oh no, no I didn't. Oh, but I see one guy there. I see you there. How you doing? Get out of here. There we go. Alright then. And there's another guy, yeah. Just once again, spam the keys. Alright, forget the keys. Oh boy. Well, I see him there. How you doing? Actually, I should try to knock him off here, maybe. Oh, well, there you go. Forget it. Uh, there's another guy here. Hello. Knock him off. Knock him off. There we go. Alright. So now where should we be going? I got, some, I got a lot of steak here. Alright. Yeah, it seems to be getting rid of the lag a little bit with this render distance, but... Yeah, I think, other than that, I think this is going pretty fine right now. Oh, oh. There's a ladder. Go down. Alright. More guys. Hello there. Get them out one at a time. They apparently can't get up the stairs. Okay, well, maybe they can. Okay, he's done. And so will you. So will you. There we go. Oh, he dropped a skull. And some coal. Or wait, did he? Did he drop a skull? Yeah, he did. Wait, what the heck? Where'd the skull go? Okay, well, for some reason it just disappeared right out of my inventory. Strange. But it doesn't matter. What is this now? Oh my, really? Really now? Oh boy. Gotta use some pro jumping techniques. Oh, okay. Hold on, I see... I think I see another Heaven Shot button over there. Okay. Yeah, hello there. Oh. Oh, he has flaming arrows. For some reason, that one just bounced right off of me. I got the Soul Breaker, though. Up! Oh. Still hasn't defeated him. On here. Oh, what the heck? Get out. There we go. I'll tie him. Yeah, Soul Breaker, Power 9, Punch 1, Infinity 1, Unbreaking 10. 6 to 30 damage. Ok, 
Okay, because he just has a lot of health then. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, the lag is commencing. It's great how it always does that and can't even see what the heck I'm doing. Alright, I guess the render distance is not helping at all. This game was just required a lot of RAM then, because I have the render distance on short. Fine, forget it. Set it to tiny. I don't know, might as well just make it even harder to complete. Forget it. I don't think I really have uh, enough to purchase anything right now though, so I think I'm just going to carry on. jump over this? I don't know how the heck that hit me. Up. Oh. Okay. Do we go over here, though? I'm not entirely sure. Where are we supposed to go? What is this? Oh, it's just lights. Where should we be going, though? I have no idea. That should be a way around that lava somehow, though. Actually, let me go back. Now, where the heck should we be going right now? Oh, of course. Because I can't even jump because of all the lag. Or maybe it's the other way around. Okay, seriously, even render distance tiny doesn't help. This game must just require a lot of RAM. That's ridiculous. Okay, I guess I had to go around this way then. Okay, fine. Where? Oh. Hello. There we go. We got him. Um. Some of this. Fine, use one of my healing potions. There. I still got a bunch of them. Healing potion. Use a splash healing potion here. Put one there. Another guy. Or more guys. Okay. Let me take him on. Forget it. Alright. Let me look at my armor. I think my armor's still fine. Hello there. Alright then. There's another guy. Hello there. Uh oh. Calling in for reinforcements. Actually, speaking of which, that reminds me. If I die, where do I respawn? Oh, I respawn over here. Okay, well. Yeah, I don't understand this. I had the render distance to tiny, smooth lighting off. I basically have the lowest settings possible in Minecraft, yet it still lags. I honestly do not believe the system requirements when it says one gigabyte recommended. I honestly do not believe that, because I have 3 gigabytes of RAM, it still lags like crazy. That doesn't make any sense. How you doing? There we go, push him in the lava. Alright, there we go. 
And actually, you know what, speaking of which, there are actually some other games that I don't believe it's system requirements as well. Some of its system requirements are just absolutely crazy. Like, one game, it's actually a free-to-play game, I thought it was very interesting, it's called Planet Side 2. I looked at the system requirements, recommended 4 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah. Like, I know that, and I know that some computers do have that much RAM, but... Since when would a program on your computer use that much RAM? Like, when I use the task manager, none of the programs ever use more than, like, one and a half gigabytes when I look at the task manager, because it tells you how much memory that task is using. It never goes over, like, two gigabytes, or basically two million kilobytes. So, or is it million kilobytes? I don't remember, but yeah. And another game that's also free to play, Microsoft Flight, which is based off of the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator games, recommended six gigabytes of RAM. Like, that's just ridiculous. How could a game use that much RAM on your computer? The graphics must be pretty spot on and cutting edge in order for it to use that much RAM on your computer. That doesn't make any sense. Minecraft recommends one gigabyte, but it's still lagging like crazy. So I honestly do not believe... I not, honestly do not believe that. There's a door over here. Could be an issue with Java, like I said. Oh, forget it. Oh, wait, that's not a door. The heck? Okay, well, we're here now. Oh, boy, another boss fight. Corridor. Oh, forget you, Corridor. You're going down. How dare you enter Hero Brian's lair without my permission? Okay, what is going on? I have the render distance to tiny. This is ridiculous. Tip, shoot the targets on Horgor's eyes. Avoid being on the platform with the lights on. Move. Okay, well. Wait, when Korgor has fireballs, avoid going on the platforms with the light on. Oh, right arm. Hey, what the heck, it actually shows the damage done to the arm. Oh. Up. Oh. Hit that. There we go. Okay, which which one's on? Uh oh. Up. Oh. oh, of course. Oh wait, what? What? Whoa, whoa. Okay. I thought I fell there for a second. Okay, I'm not on that platform. Actually, I might need to turn the render distance up here a bit because there's some some stuff that I'm not really seeing here. What the heck? Next coming out of the ground. Of course, they're sending in blazes now. Well, so much for the blazes. Okay, I guess I will have to turn the render distance up then. I can't see what's going on. Right arm is five left. Like I said, if this does go off sync, I will attempt to fix it. I will. Wow, there's also a lot of audio glitching. What is going on here? Stop having a fit, Minecraft. Goodness gracious. What the heck? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm still on this platform. There we go, we got him. Okay. 
okay. His right arm is all is very close to uh well, to disintegrating, I guess. Hello. We're done. He's all the way over there. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, see? Oh, what? Come on. Goodness gracious. This is getting a bit ridiculous now. And it honestly doesn't help when the game lags. Okay. His right arm must be gone. Oh yeah, there we go, it explodes. That's pro. My right arm, no. Wait a second, where the heck was the blaze? Okay, hold on. We almost got him. There we go. Almost. Almost there. Okay, yeah, see, because it's... Wait, what the heck? Platforms? I didn't even notice that there. Yeah, okay, it really doesn't help with the game lagging. I got him from all the way over there. Alright. I believe his left arm is done. Forget you and your arms. And his head explodes. Arg, my left arm, what have you done? Humans, you've defeated me. Quest 9 completed. You received 120 souls. Forget you. Alright. Oh, you're still there. Hello. How you doing? You're done. Oh, of course. Wait, he's still firing? Okay. So what is this now? Teleport back to the shore. Oh darn, we got a bunch of stuff here. Alright, repair that. Give me the most gold nuggets. Repair that. We've done it anyway. Oh, there we go. Lava Walker. Alright, forget it. Let's go back. I'm waiting for you, Dr. Robotnik64. Yeah, 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 I'm coming for you here, Brian. I'm coming for you. But, for now, so you can defeat Dinabone inside her laboratory by destroying the energy cores and locking her inside the gas chamber. Beware for cruel creeper mine experiments. Defeat Dinabone. Um, I think I'm going to defeat Dinabone maybe in the next part, though, because this is just getting extremely laggy. I honestly do not understand this. Even even changing the render distance didn't help. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I'm going to save Quest 10 for another part, though, but that's it for now. So that was part 4 of Here Brian's Return. So we're pretty close to the end now, so we just need Quest 10 and Quest 11, so we're almost there. But that's it for now. So anyway, that was part four of Hero Brian's Return. This is Dr. Robonix64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or me and subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one. So yeah. But that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.